Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve a couple of numerical problems on three phase AC circuits. By solving these problems, we shall learn how to determine impedance, resistance and reactance per phase of a three phase balanced star connected load when values of supply voltage, circuit current, power factor, etc. are known. For balanced three phase load, total apparent power S equals to 3 times V phase into I phase, where V phase is the phase voltage and I phase is the phase current. Total active power P equals to 3 times V phase into I phase cos phi, where cos phi is the load power factor. P may be expressed as S into cos phi. Total reactive power Q equals to 3 times V phase into I phase sin phi. That is equal to S into sin phi. For balanced three phase star connected load, line voltage VL equals to root 3 times V phase, where V phase is the phase voltage. Line current IL equals to phase current I phase. Now we can write apparent power S equals to root 3 times VL into IL. Active power P equals to root 3 times VL into IL cos phi and reactive power Q equals to root 3 times VL into IL sine phi. A balanced star connected load is supplied from a three phase 400 volt supply. The current in each phase is 50 ampere and lags 30 degree behind the phase voltage. We have to calculate phase voltage, phase impedance, active and reactive powers drawn by the load. Let us first write down the given data. Line to line terminal voltage VL equals to 400 volts. Since the load is star connected, terminal voltage per phase V phase equals to VL by root 3 that is equal to 400 divided by root 3 that gives us 230.9401 volts. For star connected load, line current IL equals to phase current I phase that is equal to 50 ampere. Phase angle phi equals to 30 degree. Let us now determine phase impedance. Z equals to V phase divided by I phase. Using values we get. 230.9401 divided by 50 that gives us 4.6188 ohm. Power factor of the load cos phi equals to cos of 30 degree that is equal to 0 0.866 lagging and sin phi equals to sin of 30 degree that is equal to 0 0.5. Expression for active power for three phase load P equals to root 3 times VL into IL cos phi. Using values we get root 3 into 400 into 50 into 0 0.866 that gives us 30,000 watts. Reactive power. QL equals to root 3 times VL into IL sine phi. Using values we get root 3 into 400 into 50 into 0 0.5. That gives us 17,320.51 volt ampere reactive. A balanced star connected load when connected to a three-phase 
500 volts, 50 hertz supply draws a line current of 28.85 ampere at 0.8 lagging power factor. We have to calculate resistance of each phase and total power input to the load. Let us first write down the given data. Line to line terminal voltage VL equals to 500 volts. Since the load is star connected, terminal voltage per phase V phase equals to VL by root 3. That is equal to 500 divided by root 3. That gives us 288.6751 volts. For star connected load, line current IL equals to phase current I phase that is equal to 28.85 ampere. Power factor of the load cos phi equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us now determine impedance per phase. Z equals to V phase divided by I phase. Using values we get 288.6751 divided by 28.85 that is approximately equal to 10 ohm. Resistance of each phase R equals to J into cos phi using values we get 10 into 0 0.8 that gives us 8 ohm. Now we shall determine total power input P in equals to root 3 times VL into IL cos phi. Using values we get root 3 into 500 into 28.85 into 0 0.8 that gives us 19,988 watts which is approximately equal to 20 kilowatts. A balanced three-phase load of 3 kilowatts at a power factor of 0 0.8 lagging is connected across a three-phase supply. If the line current is 12.5 ampere, we have to calculate resistance and reactance in each branch of a star-connected load. Let us first write down the given data. Power consumed by the load P equals to 3 kilowatts. That is equal to 3000 watts. For star connected load, line current IL equals to phase current I phase. That is equal to 12.5 ampere. Power factor cos phi equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Expression for power consumed by the load P equals to 3 times V phase into I phase cos phi. Therefore, phase voltage V phase equals to P divided by 3 times I phase into cos phi. Using values we get 3000 divided by 3 into 12.5 into 0 0.8 that gives us 100 volts. Phase impedance J equals to V phase divided by I phase. Using values we get 100 divided by 12.5 that is equal to 8 ohm. From impedance triangle we get Resistance per phase R equals to J into cos phi. Using values we get 8 into 0 0.8 that is equal to 6.4 ohm. Inductive reactance per phase XL equals to root over Z square minus R square. Using values we get root over 8 square minus 6.4 square. That is equal to 4.8 ohm. Three similar coils connected in star take a total power of 1.5 kilowatt at a power factor of 0 0.2 lagging 
from a 3 phase 440 volt 50 hertz supply. We have to calculate the resistance and inductance of each coil. Let us first write down the given data. Power consumed by the load P equals to 1.5 kilowatt. That is equal to 1500 watts. Power factor cos phi equals to 0 0.2 lagging. Line to line terminal voltage VL equals to 440 volts. Supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Since the coils are connected in star, terminal voltage per phase V phase equals to VL by root 3 that is equal to 440 divided by root 3 that gives us 254.0341 volts. Expression for power consumed by the load P equals to 3 times V phase into I phase cos phi. Therefore phase current I phase equals to P divided by 3 times V phase into cos phi. Using values we get. 1500 divided by 3 into 254.0341 into 0 0.2. That gives us 9.8412 ampere. Phase impedance Z equals to P phase divided by I phase. Using values we get 254.0341 divided by 9.8412. That is equal to 25.8133 ohm. From impedance triangle we get resistance per phase R equals to Z into cos phi. Using values we get 25.8133 into 0 0.2 that gives us 5.1627 ohm. Inductive reactance per phase xl equals to root over z square minus r square using values we get root over 25.8133 square minus 5.1627 square that is equal to 25.29 ohm inductance per phase l equals to xl divided by 2 pi x using values we get 25.29 divided by 2 pi into 50 that gives us 0 0.0805 Henry. Three similar choke coils are connected in star to a three phase supply. If the line currents are 15 ampere, the total power consumed is 11 kilowatts and the total volt ampere input is 15 kilovolt ampere. We have to calculate the line and phase voltages, the volt ampere reactive input and the reactance and resistance of each coil. Let us first write down the given data. Input apparent power S equals to 15 kilovolt ampere that is equal to 15 into 10 to the power 3 volt ampere. Power consumed by the load. P equals to 11 kilowatts that is equal to 11 into 10 to the power 3 watts. Line current IL equals to 15 ampere. Since the coils are star connected IL equals to phase current I phase. Expression for apparent power S equals to 3 times V phase into I phase. Therefore, phase voltage V phase equals to S divided by 3 times I phase. Using values we get 15 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 15. That gives us 333.3333 volts. For star connected load, line voltage VL equals to root 3 times V phase. That is equal to root 3 into 333.3333 that is equal to 577.35 volts.
from power triangle we get reactive power QL equals to root over A square minus P square. Using values we get root over 15 square minus 11 square. That is equal to 10.198 kilovolt ampere reactive or 10,198 volt ampere reactive. Power factor cos phi equals to P divided by S. Using values we get 11 divided by 15 that is equal to 0 0.7333 lagging. Phase impedance Z equals to P phase divided by I phase. Using values we get 333.3333 divided by 15 that is equal to 22.2222 ohm. From impedance triangle we get resistance per phase R equals to Z into cos phi using values we get 22.2222 into 0.7333 that is equal to 16.3 ohm. Inductive reactance per phase XL equals to root over Z square minus R square. Using values we get root over 22.2222 square minus 16.3 square that is equal to 15.1 ohm. A balanced three phase star connected load of 120 kilowatt takes a leading current of 85 ampere when connected across a three phase 1100 volts. 50 hertz supply. We have to calculate values of resistance, impedance and capacitance of the load per phase and also the power factor of the load. Let us first write down the given data. Power consumed by the load P equals to 120 kilowatts that is equal to 120 into 10 to the power 3 watts. Line to line terminal voltage VL equals to 1100 volts. Since the load is star connected, terminal voltage per phase V phase equals to VL by root 3. That is equal to 1100 divided by root 3. That gives us 635.0853 volts. For star connected load, Line current IL equals to phase current I phase that is equal to 85 ampere. Expression for power consumed by the load P equals to 3 times V phase into I phase cos phi. Therefore, power factor cos phi equals to P divided by 3 times V phase into I phase. Using values we get 120 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 3 into 635.0853 into 85 that is equal to 0 0.741 leading. Phase impedance Z equals to V phase divided by I phase. Using values we get 635.0853 divided by 85 that gives us 7.4716 ohm. From impedance triangle we get resistance per phase R equals to Z into cos phi. Using values we get 7.4716 into 0 0.741 that gives us 5.5365 ohm. Capacitive reactance per phase Xc equals to root over Z square minus R square. Using values we get root over 7.4716 square minus 5.5365 square. That gives us 5.0172 ohm. Capacitance per phase 
c equals to 1 upon 2 pi f into x c given supply frequency f equals to 50 hertz. Therefore, c equals to 1 upon 2 pi into 50 into 5.0172 that gives us 634.4373 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad or 634.4373 micro farad. So today we have solved a couple of numerical problems on three phase AC circuits. By solving these problems we have learned how to determine impedance, resistance and reactance per phase of a balanced three phase star connected load when values of circuit current, supply voltage, power factor, etc. are known. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.